it's Tuesday and the real estate market is unhealthy in Southeast Michigan. But when we talk negatively about the real estate market in general, everyone thinks we're back to 2008 and the home prices are gonna crash and their investment is bad. What I mean by unhealthy is the spread in interest rates and what has happened here. We had historically low interest rates and now we're getting to 7.25 interest rates. And what that does is it, it, it kind of clogs up the system. The system doesn't get fluid or, or transient. What happens is you've got a traditional seller who would most likely be a buyer at some point, but they don't want to buy a new home because they're, the home prices have escalated 10%. And the interest rate went up 4% from what they're currently holding. So they don't really have this motivation to be a buyer into a step up home, which means the traditional seller is now staying put. So when the seller stays put and there's no motivation to buy another home, less homes come to the market. So we've got limited inventory, but at the same time, we still have buyer demand, which is dominated by the first time buyer. And when we don't have these step ups, you know, we've got buyers that need a house they have to pay more for a house with a higher interest rate. And these first time buyers are being resilient to these higher interest rates because the demand they have to get a house. So less homes on the market, still buyer demand, interest rates going up, homes still selling and bidding wars if they're sharp. And if they're sharp, they will see the multiple offers. But what we're tr starting to see now is these condition conditioned home buyers saying, I'm not gonna get into this bidding war on this particular house. Maybe last year, maybe last year when the interest rates was, was 5.25, that's when I would have jumped into on this house. But with, the, with my monthly rate going up and this home needing this amount of work, I'm not willing to do that. So now we're actually seeing homes that aren't so sharp stay on the market a little bit longer, or maybe they're just not as desirable. Those homes aren't actually getting the bidding wars but the market is still dominated at the median price point by the first time buyer. So when we're talking about an unhealthy market, it's because the home prices continue to stay elevated because of demand, but the interest rates also escalating and we just don't see more inventory coming. We're watching it this fall, seasonally low inventory is always in the fall, but we're watching if there's a greater magnitude of lower listings in the fall market. So if you're looking to buy or sell in the next couple months, there's a lot of variables in the market, which means we have to get ahead of those variables. So it's important to talk to an experienced realtor and make sure we have a game plan for you because time is your leverage and time means max value when you go to sell. Thanks for being great clients and I'll see you Tuesday.